uh, Shalom. Shalom. You know, first and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Hashem. Rafaqadash. And as always, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. You know, that rule well and blessings to the hopeful elect teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, we've got a few couple of the brothers on the road. This brother Kawa Bai. I'm also joined with the brothers. Shakar. Apash. Yeah, brother Shakar and Apash, man. And, uh, you know, we've been on a long journey, you know, so we're, you know, a little bit tired, but hey, hey, the show must go on. Um, you know, it's a, it's a new year, a so called new year, the year of, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai turning up. Um, the beautiful title, beautiful time, beautiful time to be alive. And I just wanted to share a little quick testimony. I was speaking with the brother Naposh um, and uh, the brother, you know, Shaq's in the back as well, man. And we were just, you know, I was just mentioning a little testimony that that I had, man, because, uh, you know, I, I have a dog. And um, and I was telling the brother that, you know, my dog recently, he kind of, well, recently, like what I said about a month ago, he got, he got fleas, man. You know, and I don't know how he caught them and that and whatever, but... So I told my woman he's got fleas because I was stroking him one day and I, and, I, and I noticed he had a flea, one flea that I saw on him. And I said, you know what, fuck this, I got I got to sort this shit out. So uh, you know, I told my woman, she ordered a, a shampoo for him and then we washed him. And uh, you know, I don't know whether the fleas went or whether they were still there or whatever, but hey, I went to take him for a walk. And you know, I always take him to the same place to walk, you know, my dog. And when I, when I took him to this particular dog park that I take him to, I noticed that on the wall someone had left a, a shampoo. But this particular shampoo was like a, you know, like shampoo, like a conditioner. But it was specifically for, it was specifically for a, a, a fleas, <laughs> you know. And I said to myself, man, that's a bit, um, I said that's a bit accurate, you know, because my dog just just had fleas. <laughs> I ain't never really seen that. I mean, my dog's almost five, you know, in human years. So I said to myself, whoa. And then next, a couple, must have been about a couple of weeks later, I went back there and I see, and I see a packet of food. It was like chicken, one packet was chicken, and another packet, it was another two packets of beef. And then it was dog treats. And I said, no, hold on a minute. I said, this is kind of crazy. And I said to myself, you know what, I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna be rigid about this. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna give it like, you know, I gave it to my dog, man. And, and lo and behold, he loved them. And I said to myself, you know, in that time, I said, who's doing this? Okay, because people know me in my area for walking my dog. But I said to myself, but I could be carnal about it. I said, hey, who's doing this? Someone's obviously watching me and leaving me gifts. And hey, it may, may be that. Or it could have been an angel that's leaving. I don't know. But nevertheless, it's a testimony, man. And the testimony and the lesson is this. Take no thought, brothers, man. I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, the brothers in there, hey, yeah. hey take no thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, because the Heavenly Father, man, hey, hey, we're in a time of miracles coming, man. And mm -hmm. The Lord is going to start operating and doing things and intervening in our, in our lives. You know what I'm saying? Because we're in a time now where everything's about to shut the fuck down. Okay, Esau is moving with the draconian measures, man. And he's shutting things down, so take no thought. Go ahead, bro. Hey, this, so this is uh, Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, for what you shall put on is not the life more than the meat and the body more than raiment. So take no life, man. You know, you promise you want to, you know, go, you know, jump in, man, you know? But the point is, take no life. And you might say, yeah, but that's just your dog, mate. But then, bro, hold on a minute. That's My dog is a part of my household, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just says a righteous man have care for his beast. That's right. And you know, hey, the Heavenly Father is a just power. That dog is a part of my household. And guess what? The Lord. Hey, whether, like I said, whether it was an angel, whether it weren't an angel, whether it was an individual that did that, either way, the scripture says, man, man's goings are of the Lord. Then how shall a man understand, how then shall a man understand his own way, man? So the heavenly father, remember the scripture says, the Lord governeth the world with the palm of his hand, man. That's right. All right? Everything is orchestrated by Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, the, the heavenly father, man. He controls everything. Okay? So the point is, take no thought, man. We're going to come into the times where we're gonna need, you know, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai to intervene for us, man. And that's what this is all about, confessing the names of Yahweh or Yahweh Shai before men, you know? And we, we, we be confessed before Yahweh, which is in heaven, by Yahweh Shai, man, our mediator. Okay, you know, go, yeah, you got it, bro. I, if, if I yeah, can man. just add, add to the, uh, you know, to Lambak, man, just to say that these things are happening, that happen to brothers across the world, that the brothers giving his testimony, 
They're happening to boost our faith. That's it. You know? They're happening to boost our faith. They're like little trials to get us into that mind frame that hold on man, you how about Shmiel Shai go us? You know? As as this devil's gonna as he's gonna, you know, come against us even harder. <laughs> We know that, hey, the Lord's gonna turn it up, man. The Lord's gonna be, hey, the Lord's gonna make it manifest who his, who his, his men are, man. That's yeah, right, that's right. And you know? showing more spiritual signs. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, more, yeah. More, more spiritual signs to, to increase your faith, man. That's right. So, hey, uh, I, hey so, so, bro, if it was an angel or a person doing it, hey, guess what? The Lord made that happen, man. That's right, brother. That's right. And it's a testimony, man. It's a faith movement. I have a quick one. Come on, come on. This is uh, Psalm 33 and 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear, mm. upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Mm -hmm. Our soul waited for the Lord, for he is our help and our shield, man. Hey, so, so what about 10 to a time where, you know, people actually, you know, you know, the yeah, uh, uh, scripture says cannibalism is coming back, man. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if cannibalism is coming back, uh, uh, that means the time's coming now is about to be really fucked up, man. That's right. Where, you know, in a. Heck and Ezra even says people are going to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. You know, but hey, we, through, you know, signs and miracles, we going to be taken care of in this time. That's right. In many ways. That's right. You know, but, that's right. And it, that's a good, that's a very good point. That's why the scripture says that the angels in camp of about and not fear him, you know? Psalms 34 and 7. You know, the scriptures tell you that the angels in camp of about and not fear him. So the Heavenly Father, man, you know, he's going to be intervening in our lives, man. If, you know, the lives of the elect mm -hmm. that sincerely believe, man. As for these other people, they're going to be running around not knowing what to do. Remember, the time that's coming up on the earth is going to be like a time like no other since there was a nation, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we're about to enter in, into uncharted territory. Precept. You know, if you will, historically, man, yep. you know, ain't never been a time like this about to come on the earth. Go ahead, bro. Hey, 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 hey yeah. bro, as well, as it's a, it's a heavy time, it means what? More and more signs and miracles going to take place. That's right. You know, so right. the, the apostles always say, so we're, we're in a time period of Acts. Acts. And if yeah. you read Acts, man, it, it got heavy, man. Well, Acts means action. Action, yeah. exactly. Action, man. So, so that's the same thing that's about to take place, man. That's more, right. That's more, right. Yeah. More signs and miracles. Hey, because what does the uh, scripture say? That people shall be willing in the day of that power. Oh, that's right. That's right. Man. Sorry, bro. Go ahead. Yeah. No, you good, bro. Hey, yeah, you, you good. good? You know. Hey, uh, uh, brother Carl, why you mentioned like a time like never before? Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's and I got a, a precept. All right. Yeah. This is a uh, Psalm chapter forty-six, verse one. Yahweh Bashmi Shai is our refuge mm. and strength. A very present help in trouble. Ooh. A very present. <laughs> now go, on, now go, on, go, on, go. On. No, no, you go into it, hey, bro. A very present help in trouble, man. That we're was... going into the now. We're going into the time of trouble. Okay, all right. We're the you know we're at the the, the entrances of, of 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 the door of that. Okay, so a hey, big faith. Big mm. faith. Big, big faith. faith, man. And yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, you remember when brothers were doing. Hey, yeah, did that, yeah, that video. Big, big faith. faith, man. And yeah, you know what, man? Yeah, yeah. Hey, our faith is in what? That, look, man. Yahweh Shai. His name means. Okay, he a savior, he deliverer. Yeah. Okay, Yahweh Bash Me Shai, man. That's our, you know, moment. That's that's our faith. Our faith is look, man. We're gonna be, we're gonna be all right. Yeah. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be looked after by while these people out here, these faithless people out here, are gonna get messed up, man. That's right. And we are seeing the telltale signs of it now because the scriptures say what knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. We're that's seeing right. the stability that's coming out of the investments we've made in the spirit through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash Me Shai. And we're seeing the fruits of the, the fruits of wickedness and what people are doing out there, the fruits of being unfa um, unfaithful to the Lord, man. Yeah. You know. The scripture says, "All the unfaithful shall die." Right. That's right. In their unfaithfulness, man. So now's not the time, brother. That's why the scripture is faith is a, is a key ingredient. You know, the scripture speak about um, it is impossible without yeah, faith. It. Isn't? Oh, you got it? Yeah. Go ahead. This is Hebrews chapter eleven, verse six. And you know, I have to interject with it because hey, did you know that that scripture hit me? The one you just read, man. A very present help. You know, the Lord being a very present help in a time of trouble, man. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's that's important to understand. You know, the Lord is, hey, the, the, we worship a living power, a present power, not a, not a power that's not present. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. the Heavenly Father, hey, well, hey, 
the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh. He is. That's right. He to be. He exists. Exactly. That's a very present help. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and the scripture also says when it's dealing with the Lord and how he looks after us, he says, saveth in time of affliction. That's right. <laughs> you know? That's right. That's right. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. He says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. For he that cometh to Yahweh Shmi Yahweh Shai yep. must believe that he is, is and, and that, that he is a rewarder, rewarder of, of them that diligently seek, seek him. him. Exactly. So there's a, there's a reward, man, yeah. for those that diligently seek the Lord, man. Yeah. All right. And that's why the scripture says, give diligence yeah. to make thy calling and election sure. Right. For if you do these things, you shall yeah. never fall, man. Remember that. All right. And to give diligence, say you have to be given a gift of faith, which faith is a gift. And so without that faith, it's impossible to please the Lord, man. And you don't want to be in a situation where you haven't been pleasing the Lord. Because if you're in that situation where you ain't been pleasing the Lord, and you've been doing other things out here, you know what I'm saying? You ain't count the costs or you took your hand off the plow. Man, you guys, hey, you ain't off the elect and you're going to get judged, man. And, okay? Yeah. And you, and you know what? I, the scriptures say in Ephesians 2 and 8 that faith is a gift. That's right. So, hey, what did Yahweh Shai say to Peter? That thou faith fell not. That's why I prayed for you. Oh, yeah. Satan desired. Satan yeah. desired to sift thee. Now, Satan's out here like a roaring lion, man. Mm -hmm. This is about the faith. It is impossible. You can't get to Yahweh Shai without faith. Mm. But it is given to you. So, the testimonies like this that a brother gave, okay, and experiences that we're going through, remember, it's the Lord that's putting us through it to boost our faith, man. Mm. You know? Mm. Increment is, is, is boosting. It's, 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 getting, it's getting heightened, man. Okay, big faith. Hey, hey this is uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 2 and 9. It says, Ye that fear the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, mm. did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Founded. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And to call upon him takes faith. That's right, bro. You know, the scripture says, strive for the truth unto death, death, and the Lord shall fight for us. You know? And that's why it's important to read these stories, man. Because if you read, you know, throughout, you know the scriptures, there's countless stories of faith, man. Mm. Of, of where the Lord done things that people didn't didn't expect man illogical yeah, yeah like yeah it, so it, called illogical yeah and, 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 and that's why the scripture says what my, my thoughts are not your thoughts mm. you know like a like a prime example is a, of, a, um, a, of of samson man so basically after he uh, slew uh i believe it was 800 men who did the uh jawbone of us yep he was thirsty and the Lord created a pathway in that bone, and it if it, it, it brought out water for him, man. Yep, yep. The the the, 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 the bone that was dry threw out a, like a basically a fountain of water. Man, that's the power of the Lord, man. Hey, and and it's, it's interesting you said that. Hey, the scripture says in Romans fifteen and four, you know, for whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for our learning, man. All right, so these these things that are written before time are supposed to strengthen our faith. Why? Because it goes on to say that we through comfort. And, and yeah. patience in the scriptures might have what? Have hope. Hope. Yeah. hope, man. So this is about hope. This is about being a prisoner of hope. A prisoner of hope. You yeah. know? And, and then guess what, man? Like in our day to, 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 to today life, the Lord puts us through some spiritual life -like experiences, which increases that faith too. Yeah, you know, that's right. You know, like spiritual science, you know? You know, trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. and, and what? Overcoming them, man, which increases faith. Exactly, and when we and when we overcome them, yeah, exactly. The Lord gets us out out of these sticky situations, man. That should boost your faith, and then guess what? Now you got a testimony. Yeah, a testimony. You know, can, can it, get the, help it, others. exactly. There you go. You know, when thou art convert, converted, strengthen thy brethren. I you mean, meaning what? When you come out the yeah, other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when you come out the other side. So this is about enduring until the end, man. You, you got it up. Huh? It says four. The Lord is full of compassion mm. and mercy and long suffering and very pitiful mm. and forgiveth sins yeah. and saveth in the time of affliction. There you go. And what? saveth in the time of affliction, man. You know? And that's why the scripture says, if thou faith in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, man. Hey, big faith. Oh, well, that's why it says what? Examine thyself whether that be in the, the faith. faith. Exactly. So, hey, hey, man, if you go, 
go through a t- time period where you, you know you have spirits and demons trying to sh- shake your faith over. Why is it time to uh, pray, man? And that's why, like our uh, apostles always say, what the the the, the 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 single most important thing in the truth is what? Yeah. To what? To pray. Right. Yeah. You know, because hey, like in this time, man, man, it's about to be a tough time. That's why it's important to, to write, seek more, seek being more spiritual. Oh, I see. She says, seek you the Lord ten times more. Ten right? times more. You know? So, yeah, yeah, you know what, brothers, you know, we didn't want to make this too long, but yeah. a couple more precepts. We yeah, just wanted yeah. to get um, Isaiah 65 real quick. Yeah, okay, yeah. You know? Because, hey, and um, what, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, you're more than the, the, oh, the oh, bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Spirals. That's the one. That's the one, you know? But which everyone comes first. Because I just wanted to get this get this out as well man because hey like the brother said about the uh, cannibalism the time of cannibalism is coming on the earth you know a time like no other since it was a nation is coming on the earth jacob's trouble is coming all right and so um hey the scripture says alas for that day is great all right it's going to be a great day it's even the time of jacob's trouble but even though it's going to be a great day it's also going to be a great time for the miracles you know like the brother was mentioning earlier so hey we, will, we always want to push that push that positive message too man you know, to, to and the scripture says, lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. You know, and the scriptures also say in Romans 13 and 11 that now it's high time to awake out of sleep. You know, and that for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. Mm, that's right. right. Pay attention. The scripture says, see then that you walk circumspectly. Look and see for when the Lord is gonna is intervening within your life. Because sometimes, hey, if you ain't looking, you ain't gonna see the blessings that you know, or the, the interventions that the Lord has done. Those divine interventions, those little things. You know, and be more grateful, man. Okay, right. it's easy to take for granted. Oh yeah, I'll just you know I'm uh, you know I got paid this month, or I you know I made it here and I made it there. Yeah, guess what, bro? You got paid. The heavenly Father had you get paid. That's right. The heavenly Father's still having you keep. Uh, I don't know, maybe keeping a job. In the times that we are, people are losing their jobs right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, so the heavenly Father is always working. He's a very present help. You know, in a time of trouble, man. You know, you got it, bro. Yep. Yeah. This is um, Isaiah chapter sixty-five, verse thirteen. Therefore, thus saith. The Lord, Yehovah Shmuel Shai, behold, my servants shall eat, mm-hmm. but ye shall be hungry. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. And the, 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 you know that scripture says, servants shall eat. It didn't say they may be, or no, you, they might, they might, uh, they, like if he has some time. No, he said they shall, mm-hmm. meaning it's certain. You know, it's certain that the servants going to be taken care of. Bro. That's right, that's right. My servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Mm-hmm. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And we are, and we are the servants of the Most High, man. That's why we're doing what we're doing. And the Lord says, "What we? The Lord is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, yeah. which you have showed towards His name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister." The word minister means what? To serve. That's right. And are we not ministering unto the saints? This is what we're doing. Uh, Yahweh Shai told Peter, "What if you love me, feed my lambs and feed my sheep." That's a part of the ministry, bro. That's a part of the work. And that's what we're doing, man. Okay, that's what we're diligent in, Lord willing, to the end, man. Okay, because we're in a time right now, hey, this could be the year that we get up out of here, man. And the greatest miracle that we're expecting is for Yahweh Shai to crack these clouds, man. And that's prophetic. That's prophecy. The word prophesy means to say before. We're just declaring what's going to happen before it actually happens, that's man. Right. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them, man. All right, so stay circumspect. Look and see. When the Heavenly Father is intervening in your life, man. Okay, it's important for your faith, right? For you to continuously examine yourself, whether you're in the faith. Whether to see if the Lord is, is being a very present help in your life, you know? Because, hey, he's there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you must believe that. Because without that faith, it's impossible to please, please him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You, you, uh, you got that? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, uh, brother. This is Matthew 10 and 28. Yep. And fear not them which killed the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Mm. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yep. Uh, not so, what's, so what's that talking about? Hey, don't fear Esau. Yep. Remember the scripture says, I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Yeah. Okay, like Esau, he's got all this technology, the drones, the sword is being sharpened, the concentration camps. Okay, it's all coming, bro. Jacob's trouble, it's all there. But remember, the sword of the Lord on the left hand side. What did King David say? Deliver my soul from the wicked, which this is thy sword. sword. Remember, the Heavenly Father, this ultimately, and even the MOTB, it's really the Most High's MOTB. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's really the Most High putting us through the uh, hour of temptation. Okay, the time of Jacob's trouble. So, bro, if the Heavenly Father's got it all played out, it's his movie. Yeah, yeah. 
okay? And we're the characters in the movie and the Lord has given us all a script to play. Yeah. All right? Go on, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it says, are not two sparrows sold for a father? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. Yep. But the very hairs of your head are numbered. The very hairs of our head are numbered, man. Okay, think about that, man. All right? The heavenly father, right? He knows every strand of, of the hair that's on our head, man. You know, whether they be on your bed, you know what I'm saying? Brother, some brothers got full beds, some brothers got choppy beds, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the Heavenly Father made it that way and he knows every strand of hair that's on your head, man. Okay? Every strand of hair that's in your, you know, you, you know, you, even if you got a budged hairline, yeah. like like I have. Mm -hmm. But fuck it, man. Yeah. Hey, the, the Heavenly Father knows he made that hairline of mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he knows the number. So guess what? What's that saying? Even the smallest of details, man, it's the Heavenly Father's moment. involved in. Yeah. Okay? It says, fear ye not therefore, ye are of more v value than many sparrows. Mm -hmm. you know? So the, the sparrow don't fall unless the Heavenly Father sanctions it, man. Okay, remember the scripture says a man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Right. And that includes miracles, bro. Yeah. Let me just say that. Yeah. Okay, so when I was walking and I, this demon. <laughs> when I was walking and, and, I, and I saw that packet, you know, the packet of treats for my dog, man. Hey, the Heavenly Father intervened. You know, and it was just, it, to, to, you know, to some people it may be small. Hey, but the scripture says, be not ignorant of a great matter or a small. Okay, because to me it was big because I said, at the end of the day, I said, hold on a minute. What about in that time when I can't get pet food or something or whatever? You know, everyone else is starving, everyone. But then guess what? The Heavenly Father can just sort you out, man. All right? I mean, I don't know. People must have walked past the packets, walked past the shampoo. You know, couldn't see, see it. it. The, Lord, the Lord probably didn't make them see it, man. Available. Put a veil over them. They couldn't even see it. People walking past it, and when I came there, I said, "Hold on a minute, this is a bit too accurate, you know, for just what I, just what you need, man. Oh, shit. Just for what you need. Just yeah, in the yeah, right time. My, my dog had fleas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A shampoo for fleas was there. Hey, <laughs> you know? hey, bro. So, 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 if 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 the, the Lord can be even like accurate so, so when it comes to a pet, then how much more you? Exactly. You're, you're, how much more? Uh, uh, us, man, in, like, like in that time of trouble, man. Well, that's why it said, are you not more value? Read that again. Yeah. It says, it says, How much more value are you? You says, know? It says, it says. Whether uh, it be animals, whether it be fowls of heaven, yeah, yeah. you know? It says, um, fear ye not therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Many sparrows, man. Not just one, but many. many. So if we're more valued than many sparrows and a fowl sparrow don't fall except the Heavenly Father sanctions it, then, then guess what, bro? What about you? Ask, ask about your what about you what about yourself, man? Okay, and you and you're serving the Lord. And you and you say you believe in your Bash and Yahweh Shai. So that's important to remember, man. That's right. You know? So I believe the point has been made. Any brothers got any closing statements they want to make, bro? Let's go one you know? closing precept. Go ahead, go ahead, man. They spirit let the spirit flow, you know? This is wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Mm -hmm. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. Peace. Yeah. So the Lord, hey, ultimately, man, hey, the Lord's got care for his elect, man. That's right. Okay? And it's going to be made manifest, man. Okay? Who the Lord's looking after and who the Lord ain't looking after. Mm, that's right. That's right, bro. Hey, well, you know what? Hey, we pray... You know, through the spirit and power, you have watched me on Shadi. You've been edified, you know. Just a little quick short video, like I said, us brothers, we're on the road, man. Just a quick little impromptu, you know, in transit and that and whatever. And we want to give all praises, man. Honor and glory praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. And as always, double honors to the apostles and the elders. Double honors. A great millstone, you know, that rule well. And shalom to the elect. Shalom.